Hello folks, um, just doing a little mini vlog outside uh, Tobacco Dock where I've been at the Festival of Place event. It's quite an interesting event, it's bringing together um, local authorities, planners, developers, um, consultants, architects, all of those people to look at how we can improve um, kind of place making. Uh, it's something that's, that it does definitely interest me because a, a lot of the issues I've seen, community issues, are often designed into the estate. Um, right from the start and I think if we can bring all the different agencies and, and stakeholders and that together throughout the process we can perhaps avoid some of those mistakes and avoid some of those things. Um, understanding the the life mapping um, of the people who are going to live there, understanding that you know this is good but it's not near this bus route or this is good but there's no parking and actually the nearest the nearest shop is is two miles away and and, and that kind of stuff or even just you know the the people are going to live here you've got adapted units with mo for people with mobility issues yet there's a humpback bridge to cross the the dual carriageway or something like that and I, th and I think we you know we should start taking that kind of high level approach of what's the life going to be like of the people who actually end up living here and it's, it's been interesting, the conversation was really good. One thing that has stuck out to me has been a lot of talk about social impact measurement and how difficult that is and how we can't do it and things like that. Well, actually, I don't, I don't think it is difficult. I think if you understand what you're trying to achieve, it's not difficult to measure. But there are teams in housing and local authorities who are really, really good at social impact measurement, who do it all the time. But obviously there's a disconnect between those guys and development guys who are, who are saying it's very difficult or you can't, you can't measure this stuff. So I think we need to, to perhaps bridge that conversation between those two, two groups of people. Um, I definitely think I would like to see at the event uh, a, a broader range of stakeholders because like I say, a lot of it is very much based on um, local authorities planning the development side of things, but actually ultimately there are, there are a lot more stakeholders active in any area and in order to to you know take a success to to do some successful place making we need to acknowledge those and we need to involve those in the conversations you know whether it's the nhs whether it's the police whether it's community groups whether it's social services whoever it is you know it's not just about building buildings it's about supporting the people who are going to live in those buildings so yeah um but it's been a really good event i've talked to some really interesting people a few housing associations a few local authorities that kind of thing um and i'm going to go back in because i think there's pudding right take care bye